So today uh, we are going to organize, we are, we are organizing this uh, uh, training seminar uh, for the purpose of uh, training uh, on some points, concepts. In the regular training, what you see a trainer and a trainer. This is the idea. There is one trainer or maybe more than one trainer and uh, there are many trainees. Yet I don't want to create that relations. Means here there is no trainer. If there is a trainer, you respected teachers are also trainers. Why I am saying is this? Because some way or other way we are going to implement it on students. So being a trainer only you can you can work upon it. Otherwise not. So basically uh, what CPC prescribes is a training and lot of modules and uh, very comprehensive uh, this terminology, that terminology, uh, huge books and uh, it's so simplified. What is borrowed from somewhere else, just uh, kept here for the students to feed. So for this uh, training seminar, are we going to feed or are we going to understand? The same way, are you going to feed your students or you are going to you make your student understand something? This is the vital question. And because of this vital question, Whatever the training is prescribed by CBSC or any other institutions in India across the globe, basically 90% of them are working for comprehensive, all-inclusive, everything included, this reference, that reference, I will be making it interactive, simplified to the point I am connecting one. Something which can connect. So this seminar, this training session is based on this viewpoint that is not a regular training and whatever you have already applied, you can actually experiment on something new. That is the main purpose. I have taken a quote from uh, Rigved. Uh, many of you don't, uh, know about uh, Rigved. Rigved is one of the uh, Vedic uh, literature, the oldest one in human civilization. And uh, by this we mean that uh, from wherever knowledge comes, respect it. So the openness of the teacher is important. So the vital point here is the openness of the teacher to accept something, uh, whether it's knowledge from a uh, person like me or person who you know, had mistress man or maybe from some teacher, uh, students if knowledge is coming and you can validate those knowledge with your scientific uh, thought then you can always welcome those knowledge so this is the uh, preliminary ground on the basis of which I have made this uh, uh, training session Uh, we will be talking about uh, we will be talking about uh, digital education, conventional education, the entire framework, equipment used, the way you teach, the methodology you use. We include everything, whatever is required. It's not like we will be just talking about the equipment. This is equipment. I am not talking about that. As simple as it is. Simply the transformation word I have used. The transforming something. We are going to transform mind. So as you uh, are aware that uh, because I want to tell this as a story Every slide will come with a story. So, uh, this also teaching as an interesting part. Some 30 years back or 20 years back, if you see the schools, colleges all over India, even in across globe, not in every part of globe, you will find a blackboard and uh, teachers with <coughs> and 
half, half of the time chalks uh, with the particles of chalks everywhere, spread everywhere. You will see uh, white hand teachers. And uh, in South Africa, I don't uh, know whether you have seen it or not, stick also. Uh, my principal had uh, various types of sticks. Uh, subject, it was subjective, means uh, for the students. For the students, if the student is healthy, uh, very naughty, then the bigger one. So this kind of conventional, this is known as conventional type of teaching. To add up spices like uh, horror, horrify something, traumatize something. Generally the violent one also be part of the very well the conventional teaching. And if I ask you, I will ask you definitely how this conventional teaching comes to place, uh, which was at that time was known as modern teaching. That uh, horror show was a modern teacher. <coughs> From this horror show to today's time, because I have seen the horror show. In my school, I have seen the horror show. I was a topper in my school, and uh, even then, I have seen the horror show. Uh, some sort of slaps and all, kicks and all, I have seen it. From the principal zone of the heavy man, who did the also say, come from me, he used to kick. So this kick uh, and boxing, every, everything was there and whether you have done any mistake or not, it is a rule that in everyone, somehow, you need to be slapped and in that way you will learn and uh, you need to write uh, copies before submitting to the headmaster or headmistress or whatever, principal. Unless you submit those uh, work to head master without the sign of the class teacher, again you are under the bracket of punishment. And this was the idea of a conventional <coughs> teaching. I am not saying in every school that, was, that, that has happened, but if you uh, go back little uh, in 60s, 70s, you will find more or less like this. But gradually you will see that things have changed, started to take place. When it takes place, when the new thought, new visions came into place, we had more resources, the school had more resources, and uh, technology was available to us. And then we thought of, means the education industry thought of, uh, changing from the old pattern to the new pattern. And then comes the new digital technology added, whatever you say, the terminology, whatever you use, the new things will come. Then you, you, you can also see some of the methodology used across the globe step. Digital education, many kind of science education are there, any kind of uh, nest methodology is there. Uh, they have made um, billions of money by introducing these kind of things. STEM is a billion dollar business. Digital education is a billion dollar business. Why is it a billion dollar business? Because people have understood the importance of these methodology or the equipments or the digital infrastructures or whatever is available, framework is available. It was beneficial to the students, so it's a, today is a uh, billion dollar business. We are not talking about the corporate billion, billion dollar business, but we are talking about how it impacted our society at large and how we can use it as simple as it is. So, uh, we also had uh, once uh, long back, if I remember during uh, our only when we had a small session uh, for this methodology, if you remember. Uh, so, there are a number of uh, 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 methodology, technology, and uh, ideas, innovations, a lot of things is there. Means it's just not in here, just do not follow these, because these are some of the things I, I could add in. But there are and the models. Oh, this was the last one. that I already told you about uh, learning experience. Learning experience means when I used to go to classroom at, uh, during my childhood. I was just feeling that someday some teacher will come and scold me. What was my learning experience? 
Thanks to my father and mother, I could have been provided a better teaching at home and I could uh, manage to take studies. There was no learning environment. Can we provide a learning environment to our students? Or if learning environment is there, learning framework is there, can we provide enhance that learning, expand the learning experience of student? Why? Involvement, engagement, interest and creativity. Because of because this this is required. And as I told you earlier, with our previous events, that was also for the independent creativity. You better know independent creativity. It's a very good word. In United Nations, you see code every time. Uh, I have been to United Nations many times and independent creative for independent creativity. I have spoken n number of times and I know the reality. There is nothing called independent creativity. With the lesson plan provided to us and the books provided to us, we are just following that. To create another batch of servants. But if we can think of independent creativity, then this training session has some relevance. Otherwise, it's okay. You have the lesson plans. All of you have the lesson plans, right? Yes, sir. So why do you require this lesson plan? You don't require this lesson plan. You have lesson plan, chapters, then uh, previous teacher has not done this, this teacher has forgotten this. So actually, there is a flow of charge and you have to follow that. As simple as Robert. So there is no place for independent creativity. Now should I cancel it? No, independent no, creativity? No, 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 no. Because I have uh, recorded in our exhibition that independent creativity, but it was all created. It was not, uh, I mean, it was uh, all uh, created by teachers. And then again the peer-to-peer -peer companionship, the companionship that uh, we hold. As a student, uh, is there any scope where one student can talk to another student and get to know a lot of things? They engage in a brainstorming session, knowledge, for the sake of knowledge or for the sake of uh, some interest, uh, uncover some interesting things. So companionship is uh, very important and to inculcate those things. We need to have these kind of sessions where we can understand how to motivate students for that. These are the purpose. And of course, your own origin of learning and this uh, 21st century education that is United Nations uh, promoted this and uh, for this there is a separate session uh, it requires a separate session for 21st century education. We don't have time for uh, this thing. You can get to know from United Nations uh, sites what is 21st century education. Get ready for 21st century education. It's all over everywhere and whatever we see today in the modern education, it's all the part of the 21st century education. Including this, you can see this. This is also. Should I click it? Yes, sir. Yes. So the first thing that I am going to present you is, is the one we have experienced so far. We have experienced so far, we have promoted it from the time after the pandemic, we opened up, we had this idea that video-based education is important and we can add videos for the sake of understanding, to make the syllabus easy and uh, to make students understand the topics which otherwise they could not. That was the purpose and many of the companies have made fortunes out of this video things. So this is effective, not to say that it is not effective, it is very effective and um, how long we 
go with that. I don't know what is the status, the current status of the videos that has been. <laughs> you can, you can, you can. Please. I don't know uh, how long we uh, go with this, but uh, digital education. I mean, uh, the video education is there in our school, and uh, we have tried a lot with Moodle app and a lot of. Uh, App is there for that. So, uh, do you think the video is a good option for teaching as a teaching guide? Yes, yes, yes. You agree on that? Yes. So, uh, did you apply it? Yes. Apply it? I am going to go to the video. Apply it? And how many students have seen it? No one seen it. I one and two students, I think, so. so you are not actually you have not uh, taken it as a part of your teaching. You followed the simple syllabus, and you have not taken it because we have provided the video. Piece. We have provided video as an option, which other school has not yet provided. This region. In Calcutta, there are schools and whether it's a third party or whatever it is. But we have provided, unfortunately, we have not yet implemented it fully. Yes, yes. Hope that someday when uh, teachers will understand the value of uh, video education, they will definitely include this as a part of their teaching study. Because uh, in digital world, Video is also there. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. <clears throat> so, as I told you earlier about the classroom technology, so what we have learned from uh, Blackboard and Chalk Business uh, at our time, something has changed. <coughs> This is the important part that you have to understand. The classroom management. Inside the classroom, you are the governing body. And uh, whether knowledge is passing on from teacher to students or not, or any creative motivation is there or not, it entirely depends on the teacher. A teacher came. Sitting here, noise everywhere, one kind of a classroom management, and a teacher is there, and everybody wrapped attention into what is session. It's, it's all dependent on teacher, how they manage and through which they manage it. So use of classroom technology. There are n number of things, n number of technologies are there which can be used in classroom while providing teaching. n number of things. Some of the things I have just written, maybe it's not uh, in general use in Google, but in many part of the globe, you will find this is common. Without this, a classroom can't happen. But uh, here uh, in every uh, country priorities are there and uh, on the basis of the priorities some of the things we have taken some of the things we have left but these are the things uh, in, in use there are many more things which are in use at least uh, we have already during pandemic we have uh, learned the importance of remote learning and also the pdf form is also ebooks that we are using for now Smart I am using it. Robots, we have not yet used. Tablets and laptops are already in use. Game learning is new. Right? Game learning is new. But game learning uh, is also expanding its origin. And it's also going to be a billion dollar business. Because in, through gaming, uh, some kind of education is also provided. And uh, the IQ test is also provided uh, through uh, game uh, 
uh, gaming um, gaming uh, equipments. So this is also going to be a game changing equipments technology in education sector, which we can think of. This is a digital game. I'm not talking about the physical game. It's a digital game. Yes, sir. We have. I think Kodoa, Kodoa, they are very good at game learning and game learning stuff. There is a game related to the chapter and some words are there. Some words are there. Some words are there. Some words are there. Okay, game, game, okay. With the help of a digital game, learning experience is enhanced. Okay, this is there. And virtual reality is something uh, it's not uh, very much in use, but in some part of the world it is still in use. The virtual reality that's uh, in advanced science education, the VR, what do we call it? Uh, mobile connected the VR. So the 3D images and all you can see. So these are some of the technologies that can be used uh, inside the classroom to enhance the, the very environment of the classroom involves students with that. These are the possibilities. There are n number of possibilities. We are thinking about the possibilities. And these are just for the sake of reference. And I don't want to make it more comprehensive, all inclusive. No, no. These are just marking. These are just marking. There are n number of possibilities. You can use any of these things, any of the things you think fit for your students. It's not necessary that uh, smart board is to be used. Subject to uh, the IQ of course, the IQ and EQ of your student, you can use, choose the technology and use it, experiment it, and uh, explore the possibilities. So the basic purpose is to show this slide is that what are the possibilities we can include in our teaching act. Well, this is this uh, learning session is a is a effort to make it interactive. Interactive means two-way communication, not one-way communications. I have seen one-way communications, but it is going to be two-way communication. Uh, do we hold two-way communication in our classroom? Yes. Yes. Two-way communication. So the first is collaborations that we think about in any, any kind of collaborative effort that has been made with student, teachers, something like that and, and uh, we could get the results out of that. In, 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 if you are in your lesson plan, collaboration is a part of that. By collaboration we mean that uh, in some of the project, students of class 4 and 5 collaborated to make it. We made it And uh, I, I ask you how possible it is in your classroom, you as a teacher, that student think without fear of mistake. Is there any possibility, the remote possibility? If, if they are thinking something and they are thinking without the fear of mistake, if they are thinking something, they may be wrong. Okay.
start study that is most of the time that is their behaviors or their behavioral interest of teachers for that not for the education sir they don't get shouted at for mistakes Okay. And we hold any group discussions. It's 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 not a possibility. Can you say any group discussions? What is limited periods of time? We can't give them the scope. Since we follow the syllabus, so we are not able to follow it. These are some of the rules. In interactive learning, it's it's a way to make your classroom more interactive. It is a way, but you can you can make your own way. It is not necessary. We can choose something from here. Okay, this is spelling mistake. Always. <laughs> <coughs> And what about the space learning box? Anybody heard about that? Means it's to to give relief the students from the board of not now the cutting was ready. Just what is the between two subjects? Something like that. I tell you. Now, 
स्पेस लर्निंग इज जस्ट प्रोग्राम क्रिएटेड फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर टाइम फॉर अ पर्टिकुलर ग्रुप ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स डिलीवर टू देम फॉर एनी सब्जेक्ट ट्राई फॉर दैट एंड दिस इज हाउ थिंग्स कैन बी डन एंड इट्स फॉर द पार्ट ऑफ द होल सिलेबस कैन बी एंड एवरी डे यू हैव अ स्पेस लर्निंग वर्क इट मे नॉट वर्क विथ योर स्टूडेंट्स इट मे मे नॉट वर्क हु नोस At least try. <coughs> Here, uh, I don't want to explain these things because here the work of teacher, here the work of the teacher means what do you think of yourself before students. Yeah, it, it is creative teaching. Means the creativity. What are the possibility you think of? You can be creative of. Means you are following the books, you are following the orders, you are following the syllabus, you are following the boards. Beyond that, is there any creativity you added to your syllabus? Something new you have added. Some new tricks. Some new methods. New way to multiply things. I've seen in the exhibition the new way to multiply and add things. It was very, it was very good. So some way or other way, have you created something beyond the regular classroom? Beyond the boring classroom, did you add something new, spice up something? So uh, I mean, the creativity. Yes, sir. We can, like we did in the exhibition, uh, but uh, due to lack of time and the rates we are running after, we actually cannot. We don't get that exposure, but we can if we try to. But still, uh, do you think the creativity is there? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Creativity is there, but we did have the time. Any example of creativity that you <coughs> any one example at least? Just remember. No, we don't example. use in class. Yes, uh, we don't use any creative any method in class. class. Yes, I think use any new uh, another process of uh, calculation or something <coughs> that will save their time. Or uh, yes, I'm talking about that yes. saving time on new methods, a yes. new way, new techniques. That's a mind methods. Perhaps that I have the book, but discovered. Yes, my own methods that I have discovered. Yes, I study. I deliver them those tricks. So, somewhere or other, like, can creativity be added to our existing? Yes, yes, yes. 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 I know. <laughs> We are simply following, sticking to the uh, booklet provided to us, uh, syllabus or lesson plan. Exactly. Lesson plan. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We just follow it. Regular track. But okay. all teachers uh, try to make the studies very much interactive to the students and interesting to them as well. Okay. Because if you yeah, make it interesting, knowledge. if you make it interesting, it is also part of your creativity. Yes. It is a part of your own effort to make something boring but interesting. All the teachers try <coughs> to involve the students in learning. Interacting or asking some questions to them, so they. Do. So why this happen? If it happens to your life, it happened to my life that uh, one of my teacher in the classroom, one of the teacher in in my school was so popular. Means uh, every student was expecting that someday this teacher will come and uh, provide teaching to us. He was so interesting. He was he was he was taking physical science. At that time, it was physics, chemistry, Bio. physics. Bio. No, bio was not there. Right? At our time, that's what we know. Bio was not there. Uh, physical science, life science, life science. and yes. chemistry. Yes. So he was taking physical science. In physical science, suppose uh, he was taking water as a subject. I mean, as a chapter. 
He was so interested in it.
Uh, last day I, I just give an example in class 1-8, I was taking uh, preposition class. So I just uh, say some students outside come into the room, just in motion, they are coming in scene 2. I have told you to jump on the desk and stand, just jump on 2. At first I have given them their ideas in this way and they have not said at a one single class they have learned about everything. So it's not just you know, following the books? No, never in any yeah. class. So real life uh, you share? Yes. Real life experience? Yes. How will you share local experience? <laughs> <coughs> Most part of the life here is hurdles, challenges. So how, how will you add those challenges in your education? If you add your challenges, what happened in the local train? Did it go? <laughs> it is also quite challenging. So, do you see any possibility of uh, real world situations to be incorporated in subject or uh, your chapter? Is any possibility because it can be devastating. I have experienced. So I tell you this short story. <laughs> uh, my son came to me uh, for uh, plantation. The chapter was plantation. Uh, plantation plant uh, from deserts. Plant uh, plant of uh, sea or plant of normal land. Something like this category. I don't remember the things exactly. So what I did is that he brought the book <laughs> and I just kept the book. I said first you have to understand what is the plant is. How, what, what is the plant with the there's a lot of things written in the books like uh, in the lake uh, there is a plant, in desert there is a plant and actually students are not telling, they are not seeing the, they have not seen the uh, desert. They have not seen the desert. My son has not seen the desert. How do you know? So I started to collect plants, water body plants like uh, bamboo trees, small plants. I have a lot of plants in my office. So I brought everything and then I said this plant, this plant, this plant, this plant, this plant. Forget that book. Forget it. All bush. Follow this. You will remember this for your life. In the books, what is written? I don't remember what I have uh, rock learning during my metric exam. I don't remember history, geography, science. Rock learning was like part of my study. I was a topper. Rock learning was like to my hand. Ek baar koi panna padliya, nahi bolne ka. The moment the exam is over, or later. <laughs> so this is how studying was there. And because uh, we are talking about uh, desert, we have not seen the desert. We are talking about the mountain, we have not seen the mountains. At least to have an idea of something. Huh? Now we have something uh, uh, called YouTube, you can see the things actually you can uh, you can actually you have something to show the real world things apart from your own experiences that you every day find. They only one. Forget it. Could you tell me before I start this slide? Uh, this modern education when it was uh, who implemented it in India? Do you have any idea? Modern education system since colonial era was implemented, implemented it. Whose idea was this? This modern education system. Do you have any idea? Means what I want to say is that 
before the colonial colonial era means before the british rule we had a different education system when they came in brought with them a new sense of education system who has brought new sense of education system they considered us uncivilized so they want to civilize us so they put a new way of education called modern education you know what i think so
क्लास रिलेटेड के टॉपिक आए इस कंपटीशन कैन बी ब्रेन स्टॉर्मिंग बेस्ड ऑन सिंपल पेयर ग्रुप सो इन दैट सेंस यू कैन से बट देयर आर मेनी ब्रेन स्टॉर्मिंग इन अ ग्रुप और यस मेनी फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स सो दिस इज आल्सो अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट दैट कैन बी इंक्लूडेड इन apart from what has been let down in the lesson plan so this is something uh, i tried to put it brainstorm some of the teachers have actually brainstorm <laughs> <laughs> i i like felt the storm yes yes acha <laughs> any any of us remember if we had uh, something we ought to ask I will not say anything for this slide. I want our old any of the old teacher to volunteer me about this. I will very good pick pick off that. <coughs> During uh, in two thousand nineteen. Community. So this kind, this, this kind of ideas uh, in in our nest methodology, we use nature, environment, science, and technology. So uh, in, in I mean, if you check STEM, science, technology, engineering, and maths, it's completely on the engineering or science side. Whereas in nest methodology, we use a balance between the nature environment. And the and the potent use of science and application as a technology. So here uh, we recommend field trips. We recommend that beyond beyond the class step out of your class to learn something. Okay, playing is there. Playing is always there. But apart from playing, like the community lunch we organized uh, in two thousand nineteen. any other kind of things because it is not been in many school it is organized subject chapter wise is organized but not inside the classroom outside the classroom see the impact have you ever tried no sir no sir no we have green grass <laughs> you spent lot of money on that <laughs> and uh, we hope that our students will enjoy the Anyone want to see a role play? 
uh, we can create this type of uh, role playing in beyond the classroom. This is the beyond of classroom teaching. Transferred rules. Transferred rules. It's transferred from the classroom to Our actually this should happen. Yes, sir. <coughs> this should happen. <coughs> this is also there, but uh, inside the classroom, if we can, because what is meant to do uh, inside his house, it's not under your command. No, 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 sir. So actually you cannot experiment. How can you explain it? What he is going to say to his parents or her parents? Like sir, so oh, when no. if we are teaching about various jobs, like all the, from all over the society, we can play the roles like a postman or a sweeper works like that. If we're teaching about parliament, we can create a, a situation like modern, that. Modern we can meditation I remember now, after you saying this, Model United Nations, we have conducted, ma'am, one show here, if the uh, ma'am, we are coming to remember, that we have done a Model United Nations program here in our school, MUN. Yes. No, and is when we approach to other school, they fear to come because they did not understand the meaning of MUN and we put only, only the students of our school to participate in that program but they participated well due to program, due to videos already there in the school channel and we have actually successfully, the role play was successfully implemented in MUN and what you are saying, the postman or whatever it is, it is a part of the very much a part of that, yes, 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 it's a part of the role play that can be included in this and what you are saying is that it's also a role play it is a also yes. uh, it is a nice we thing. We cannot examine that. And, but you cannot assess whether uh, what he is saying to his parents. Yes. Sir. That is a problem. Storyboard teaching. What is that? Storyboard teaching. Any idea? Digital class, okay. In digital class puzzles, 
but their presence can be done in so many ways. I have seen in my son's school, uh, every week he has some puzzles. So puzzle based study is there. If you are not uh, adapted to that, you should adapt. Puzzle and game. Like India Yes, yes sir. And puzzle is not simply the puzzle that we see in the yes. puzzle in many ways. Mm -hmm. It's a word puzzle, it's a mathematical puzzle, yes, or a scientific puzzle, whatever it is. We can, uh, we can have n number of clubs, and even CBC also promote this idea across the globe. You will find there are n number of clubs, eco club, tourism club. Recently, I got a message from CBSC that Ministry of Tourism is asking every school to open a tourism club. Yeah. Mm. Uh, then uh, literature club, the sports club. There are a lot of things which can add to our teaching vision. So we have already implemented many of the clubs here. I could not implement the UNESCO Club of Education Charter here, uh, but uh, we have implemented some part of the, the this is related to UNESCO, uh, the Apex Body of Education in United Nations. But we have tried to incorporate some of the clubs here and many more we can uh, with respect to subjects and teaching. Can we have scope for uh, more of the clubs? Sports club we can do. Agra Kata, Agra Kata, 
or whether it is um, Kashmiri or this thing, you uh, loudly sound with a particular word that you want them to hunt inside that template. And it, it is of their interest because they are searching now in the template. They, they have their, got their own vision and they are writing it down, they are jotting it down. What they think of the tour space of, oh, I went to Agra once. I went to visit uh, Victoria Memorial once. Uh, this happened to me, something like that. So in this way, on the one hand, the teacher is also saying, on the other hand, the student is also having something on their hand. And synchronizing both the things, we are going ahead with the chapter. This is known as, traditionally this is known as storybook. It can be, it can be made more interesting. It can be made more uh, appealing to students. But 100% absolutely, in builder school it's quite, quite common. They use storyboards more often. Storyboards is there. Storyboards is a part, very much part of their curriculum in Kolkata school. We should also think of uh, storyboards because it is very helpful and research, various research was done for that and yes, they have found that it is very effective, very effective. This is a technique, very effective. We can use this kind of techniques uh, with our students. So this is all about storyboards. If anyone has any idea, a storyboard at if you have done it, but you don't know it's a storyboard. So can I say something? Yes. In our GK class, we can apply this. Ah, you can apply, but uh, if you have applied anything or included something like storyboard. Uh, no, not yet. But if we can apply I this in your GK class. Don't you know, uh, identify the activities. We have that in our teaching. We need to identify that we are actually doing something of uh, similar to storyboard, but we are not identifying it. Because we are, we are not uh, aware of the term storyboard. Yes, yes. yes. So that's why, as simple as it is. But we have given template or something like that. In fact, uh, even the online exam that we are uh, oh, having here in Ecuadoria. <coughs> on the one hand, if a student is given a computer, on the other hand, the teacher is instructing something and they are searching for something. This is also a template, not in hand, but in computer. Yes, this can also be done on actually, it has been done in our school. Yes. It, it, it has been done in our school. Ma'am? In computers? Yes, sir. Yes. yes sir. Then the addition has also been taken to Ecuadoria. Ah, that is a separate thing. But storyboard, if we have done it or not, that, that was the question. So we have not identified it, but actually we have done uh, some, something of storyboard. To Ecuadoria. Anything to add to this? Whatever we do. Yes. 
whether it is a digital template or a physical template in the in the form of a form in the form of a chart like they storing uh, a lot of things that we use certain classes they are some that chapters are actually made like that only like several tourist spots or historical places are and they went together and they are the word uh, i mean hints are given they have to search which is the ajantai loda case which yes, is, yes, yes, which yes, is, yes, is yes, like yes, that yes, they have to identify this is example of a story so they do that yes, 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 and, yes. and sir also in our hst book like in the geography part Uh, there are uh, sometimes in map in india to uh, we say that where is narmada nadi and uh, where is the started of uh, yamuna river to it is also a story so kind of tablet is provided yes it the, is not the uh, uh, digital tablet it is also a yeah, physical yeah, tablet yeah, like that yes, yes, yes. yes so this is also any thing to add uh, to this existing hmm. presentation because uh, afterwards Let me take a look. And uh, about the uh, teacher's role, do I need to read it? One thing is always there that whatever you try to experiment during your teaching. there has to has some scientific basis for that ah this is there has to have scientific basis for that that is my suggestion some sort of scientific research or you have experienced something and you know why you have experienced this then you experiment it with students so even if you are creative you want to Make a change. We have to give some new thing to students in the wake of uh, giving new things. You have to judge it whether you want to give it or not. When it is good for the students or not. Scientific basis, your own experience means I have provided you a lot of things. You can do a lot of things. but based on your own experience your own capabilities your own delivery power you will choose okay i will go with this and keeping in mind the iq level the eq level of your students the iq level and the eq level any intelligent person and emotional person the two factors there are many factors but at least the two factors taking into account and then <coughs> experiment and not experiment blindly okay these are students i'm teacher i'm going to experiment because i have learned something from the next session i'm going to implement it it happened yes sir many times it happened so what yes. is that so yes i think class 9 student um, he is challenging student for us but now he is totally changed try to change try to change but the little changing what not that much i think you better think more better explain to him but it is it relevant to today yes is it relevant to no, our personal of teachers is what is the topic related to this topic okay mm -hmm. okay ma'am well, we will start we will explain the topic Anything to add to this, or I will conclude here. And I tell you that uh, each of you who have, who have attended this training session, or I'm going to provide the another one. Each of you need to submit a uh, one page, at least a one page, two hundred words or three hundred words, your idea of uh, some innovative teaching skill you have actually. Apply or you want to apply? How you want to apply? Write it down from handwriting. No problem. No typing is required. Scan it and upload it to me or mail it to me, and uh, we provide the certificate. We will provide the certificates. But I want that at least this kind of engagement has to be there. If you are present here, relevant to this training session, 
if you if you can provide something added to this, it will always be helpful because in that way, in the next learning sessions, we can discuss about the live example you have provided to us. So it's your project, and I hope that each of your teachers will provide me with a live example that you have done. What I did is a small one. The with least effort or more effort, whatever it is. But you will provide me at least half a page, if not full a page, half a page of writing that yes, I have provided, that I have seen uh, uh, this wonderfully captured video of uh, art and craft by Madhumanti ma'am. Then one science teacher delivering the scientific thing, uh, experiments, uh, life. It was wonderful then. So uh, they tried beyond, but in the online environment, not, not now. But uh, can this kind of example can be added to this? <coughs> this kind of example. In, 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 in really you have done it, or you want to, you are planning something with that. So I want this uh, to be a concluding remark of my session and I am happy to see the because uh, last time when we thought of creating the uh, this uh, clubs then we requested each of the teacher to bring out at least one page yes. it did not turn up with the courage of uh, bringing <coughs> one page right up Somehow I convinced my respected teachers, learned teachers, please give me a one page. And then they gave me a wonderful write-up of uh, one page. And being a teacher, how can you be ignorant of uh, writing articles? Writing articles about what you are teaching. How can you be ignorant? If you are ignorant, you are misled. If you are ignorant, you are misled. So try to be active in your study, I mean teaching. And your own creative skill, if you can develop your own creative skill in that way. Be not ignorant of what you are doing. You are doing something, but you are ignorant. You don't know what you are doing. It happens, huh? Yes. Thank you so much for.